Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today we are reviewing the Buff Bunny launch slash restock called the Most Wanted collection. So most of it is just a restock or bringing back some favorites in new colors or even just, you know, old colors. But there are a couple new pieces as well and a whole new seamless collection and Buff Bunny has not done seamless in like three years and this is the first seamless I've ever tried from them. So most of this review will just be like a little recap of some items that I've tried in the past, and then some more in-depth reviews on new pieces that we have not seen before. So the launch is happening on Saturday, April 9th at 1 p.m. CST. I will list all of the times on the screen. And as always, if this review helps you out and you are shopping the launch, feel free to use support code Catherine. It helps me out so I can keep making these reviews. And yeah, we have a lot to get through, but hopefully it's not too long because, you know, we've seen a lot of these things before. I just wanted to have everything in one place for you guys. I feel like this launch is a great chance to, you know, get your hands on some pieces that you may have missed in the past. Lots of bossy print, which is one of my personal faves. So I just wanted to share all of the colors coming out as well. There aren't really any new colors except for a new white bossy print, as well as a white leopard for a little rebel set. So those are really the only new colors, as well as Pacific and Atlantic for the new seamless colors. And now I'm going to insert all of the squat tests. I'm only squat testing the new colors of things that I have not had before and may or may not be questionable. Like we obviously need to double squat test these whites, so. So without further ado, let's start talking about the new pieces. All right, first up, we have the Recharge Seamless Leggings. So I was definitely excited to see Buff Bunny delve back into some seamless because it's been so long for them. And you know, I'm, I'm pretty picky about my seamless leggings. The only ones I wear like consistently are the Alphalete Amplifies, but these ones have a little scrunch, so I had some hope. So this is the Pacific color. It's a slightly more tealish gray, and this is Atlantic, which is more of a blue, and all of the materials in the seamless collection is kind of like a thicker, marled seamless. So here's a close-up of the fabric. It's a stretchy, marled seamless. The waistband is a little bit thicker and has slightly more compressive region along the top of the waistband. It also has this kind of like fishnetty type detailing along the front of the leg. And here is how the scrunch looks. It goes all the way from the waistband to the gusset. So this is made of a new fabric. It's the Reprieve fabric, and it's made of recycled plastic water bottles. So they did have an eco-friendly recycled material in the past, like the Eco line. And the material like wasn't my favorite. It was kind of like a little more of like a shiny performance. And this is just like a total seamless. I honestly, like, wouldn't be able to tell that this was a recycled material. So it's 55% recycled nylon, 30% recycled polyester, and 15% lycra. So most everything in the launch today goes from size extra extra small to 3XL, but the seamless only goes up to an extra large. I'm not really sure why that is, but I know a lot of seamless brands, like at least like Gymshark makes a lot of seamless, and they also stop at an XL. I don't know. I also heard that maybe it was something about like limiting the number of like seamless like looms you have to make. This is really all speculation. I honestly have no idea, but unfortunately it stops at an XL, which is kind of a bummer. And the Buff Bunny logo is actually embroidered into the seamless fabric. And I love embroidered logos. I hate like a little vinyl press on onto a seamless legging, hate it. So love to see that. Well, let's try these on. All right, so here are the Recharge seamless leggings. And I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised with these. So they are seamless legging and they are that kind of like marled seamless material. And they're definitely like on the thicker side. So still like the stretchier side of being thick, it's that marl material. So it's gonna have like a slight itchy seamless feeling. If you guys have tried seamless leggings, you know what I mean? It's gonna have a slight amount of itchiness. So don't totally love that. But I didn't think they were going to be quite as high rise for me, but they are, they're also super stretchy. So you can kind of pull them up a little bit, but I'm definitely getting like a solid high rise for these, even though the waistband isn't like super thick. The waistband is sewn on to the leggings here. And then you have this like, mesh panel detail, which I honestly think they would have been cuter just without this. I feel like this really reminds me of like an old pair of rider wear leggings that I had. And I just don't really love the fishnet detail. I feel like other than that, they would have been like a really cute basic seamless legging. That being said, it's not like super in your face. 
And then you have some panel detailing, kind of like a more compressive rib right underneath the fishnet. And then some other texture detailing kind of on the leg here, like a little crosshatch situation. So I got these leggings in the two blue colors, which I feel like would be pretty squat proof, but I think I've seen that the pink is not so squat proof. So if you're going for opacity, definitely skip the pink. And now onto a part of the leggings that I wasn't so sure about, the scrunch. So first of all, the waistband is just flat across in the back, but it does sit above your glutes. So still very flattering. And the scrunch is much less invasive and like scrunchy than an Alphalete Amplify, but it definitely still does something. Like I definitely still get glute separation without having to try too hard. And a benefit of it is it's not like super, super tight and restrictive. Sometimes with these scrunches, when you squat, it feels like a rope going up your crease, you know? I'm not quite getting that with these ones. So you get a little less scrunch, a little less like glute separation, but they're a little more comfortable in that sense. But since it doesn't sit between, you know, the cheeks very much, you can definitely see the scrunch, but I don't think it's quite like as shiny as some scrunches. I know sometimes these scrunches can be a little shiny. You'll definitely get cellulite coverage with these. Not only do you have the marl, but it's a slightly thicker seamless material. And you also get more of that ribbed panel detailing right across the back of the thighs. I wish it went up a little higher to almost act as like a glute contour, not like mid thigh, but it's not very noticeable from far away anyway. These will probably be pretty good at hiding sweat just because marled materials tend to kind of obscure sweat a little bit. And compression, I'm gonna go with medium, maybe medium to high. If you're in between sizing, I think I would probably size up. I would be worried that it would be a little too restrictive in a size down, but I'm not getting too much tightness here. But if I was wearing like the extra small per se, the squatting would feel really tight there. Some seamless leggings can also really like hug your regions right here. And I feel like this isn't, you know, any different from most seamless leggings, not as bad as something like a navigation seamless. And in terms of the booty scale, I, th I think that these deserve a high on the booty scale. Comment down below if you think that they're maybe just medium to high or what. And yeah, in terms of like a seamless comparison, these are definitely thicker and more compressive, more opaque than something like the Alphalete Amplifies. I'm trying to think of like a Gymshark legging to compare them to since Gymshark does have a lot of seamless leggings, maybe like a camo seamless almost in terms of like the thickness, stretch and compression. But yeah, it's not like the thickest seamless legging I've tried, but it's definitely not quite as thin as the Amplifies. But now I'm bummed that I never got to try their old seamless leggings, the Goddess leggings. I never got to try those. I think that was like three years ago now. So Buff Bunny does not do seamless very often. Then we have the Recharge Seamless Sports Bra. So I also got this in a size small, got everything seamless in a small. And this is definitely the more full coverage of the seamless sports bra options. So for both of the seamless bras, they don't have a seam or anything separating the cup pads. So the cup pads can kind of move around a little bit. Once they're on, they usually don't move around, but I have noticed that with a lot of seamless bras, they don't have the seam that separates the cups. So when they're sitting in your drawers or being washed, you know, the cups can get kind of thrown about, but the cups are removable. You have some of the little mesh detailing up the straps in the front and in the back as well. So if you're a larger cup size, this is definitely the better of the seamless sports bra options. So it goes down a little bit further. We also have just that little extra ribbed seamless at the bottom, no true elastics. But this one overall has really good coverage too. Like it goes fully, covers the side boob, nice scoop neck, but you're at no risk of spilling out or anything. Feels really good in my size small. Sometimes with seamless bras, you can like easily size down in them because of how stretchy they are, but I probably would not size down in this one unless you're in between, but I'm happy with my normal sports bra size. Full coverage in this one for sure. You have the little like mesh detailing here to kind of go with the front of the leggings and just a classic racer back and some more detailing down here. So seamless sports bras aren't usually my favorite because they're never quite as supportive as other kinds of sports bras. So this one's comfy, but I wouldn't say it's like a go-to for me. I actually have been really liking when people were pairing the white bossy print sports bra with the seamless leggings. I thought that was a super cute combo. And this one's just a little more supportive. And I just feel like the other sports bras kind of hold you in a little bit better. These are like a little soft. So kind of just a medium support on this one. Then we have the resource bra. So I never tried the original resource bra, but this one is changed because it's in a seamless material now. Pretty plain on the front, removable cup pads. And the straps are super thin, so it's going to be a very thin open back. And you can move the straps along this band here to make them a little more wide set or narrow set. All right, so here's the resource bra. 
And I was definitely a little nervous for this one because these straps are literally like spaghetti noodle thin. So immediately just like no support out of this one, but we can't expect that out of this set of straps. So they did have a resource bra in the past. This one is definitely a little bit different because it's a seamless material. The last one is definitely some sort of brush fabric. So this kind of has the same like general idea, but it's not exactly the same. So we have removable cups and the bottom is just like a slightly thickened seamless. So it does kind of cinch you in at the bottom, but it's not a true elastic. And I was kind of pleasant pleasantly surprised with the coverage on this one. I thought it would be a lot less, but I'm like decently covered. You definitely have to adjust a little bit because there's definitely potential for side boob. So in general, I just really wouldn't recommend this bra for larger cup sizes because you definitely get side boob and I had to like adjust myself quite a bit to kind of sit in here. My workout was actually okay in this though. Like I didn't fall out of it at any point, but it's a very light support. But if you like a super open strappy back, this is definitely got that feature to it. And you can kind of like move these straps a little bit to kind of make them go out or in. I like having the straps in a bit so that they don't fall down. And in terms of sizing for this one, it's pretty true to size, but if you're in between, you might even be able to size down just because, I don't know, I'm just feeling like I have a little space. Then we have the Recharge Seamless Crop Top. It's made of the same seamless material, pretty compressive, and just has a couple little mesh ventilation details as well. All right, so here's the top. I'm wearing a size small and it's definitely pretty snug. I would say that this is a good size for me because I don't have any gaping anywhere, but if you don't want it to be a skin tight, I would definitely size up, especially feeling a little tight in my arms here. It's also pretty cropped, maybe like an inch below the sports bra band and it'll stay put though. So it won't show your sports bra when you raise your arms, but it definitely gets pretty close. So you have a little insert of that mesh in the front and in the back as well. I'm wearing the strappy back sports bra, so you don't see much in the mesh there. And lastly, a full length option. I love when Buff Bunny brings in their full length tops because a lot of brands tend to neglect that. So it's just a full length, full seamless tank with a little detailing down the side. And this one feels slightly softer than the rest of the seamless. So here's this one up close. It's just a little smoother and maybe a little thinner and stretchier. Okay, so here's the seamless tank in a size small. I actually really love seamless tanks and I kind of forgot about them just because they're so nice and stretchy and you have to wear a bra under it because it doesn't have anything built in, but it's just a nice layering piece, full length, which I love to see. And this one kind of has like a little scooped detail along the edge. It feels a little bit softer than the legging material actually, so it feels like maybe slightly different. Definitely super marled, and then it has some stitch detailing down the side, or maybe it's not stitches, it's just like a little dot detailing, just to kind of add a little a little bit of something on the sides. Really great coverage up here. I'm wearing a sports bra under it and you wouldn't be able to tell. Nice thick straps, good side coverage, and also full coverage in the back. I would say it's pretty snug up top and then I have just like a little bit of looseness right along the bottom, which I feel like I tend to get in a lot of Buff Bunny tops. So I would go with your normal Buff Bunny top size or bra size. And if you want it a little more snug, you can probably size down because it's super stretchy. But if you don't want it super snug and you're in between, I'd probably choose your bigger size. The next kind of new thing launching, it's not necessarily new, but a new color is the Rosa Sports Bra V2 in this white leopard. And it's also coming in a new white bossy print. So all of the other bossy print in this collection is made of the Nubri fabric, which is like a soft brush fabric. But these two sports bras and all the white bossy stuff is made of the Elysium fabric, which is a sleek performance. A side by side of these two fabrics, the prints obviously very similar, but this one is a soft brushed fabric and this one is a sleek performance. So the Rosa V2 sports bras, we've seen these before. They've had them in a lot of the other Rebel Leopard prints, but it's basically the exact same shape as the classic Rosa sports bra. So really great coverage, good support on this one. One of my favorite Buff Bunny bras. It's a long line as well. Removable cut pads and the straps also provide pretty good support. They're nice and thick, but the Rosa V2 bra, these straps actually intertwine. A very minor difference, not very noticeable, but that's a slight difference between this and the regular Rosa bra where the straps just lay on top of each other. I'm a big fan of the Rosa bras. I find the ones in the Elysium fabric, so the Rosa V2 bras, to be like maybe like a little bit more compressive and run like just a teeny bit smaller. So if you're in between, I would definitely size up. and. This is probably one of my top picks from the launch, just this like white bossy sports bra. I've seen it paired with so many solid colored leggings and I just feel like 
look super cute. And then we have some Rebel shorts. So these are coming just in the white leopard and the white bossy print. And I feel like this white leopard is actually like a slightly thicker material than the old just like black or other colors of the leopard print. So we will obviously do a double squat test, but I'm honestly pretty hopeful that these are gonna be pretty good for a pair of white leggings. So they're a four inch inseam, so they do roll on me. All four inch inseam shorts do. Unfortunately in this launch, there are no biker shorts, which I don't know why they did that. They even changed a pair of shorts that used to be a biker short and turned it into a four inch inseam. I'm just bummed because my thighs do not really love four inch inseams. I can make them work. You know, sometimes after so many pairs of shorts roll, you get a little frustrated. So seamless waistband, no front seam on any of the shorts. These do have an extended crotch gusset. Curved seams in the back, so super flattering on the glutes. And these are definitely a nice high rise and pretty compressive as well. Again, I think the white is just a little bit thicker and a little more compressive than some of the other Rebels. And then we have the Limitless leggings. So I believe these are the only leggings that the white bossy prints are coming in. And I sized down to an extra small. We'll talk about sizing in a second, but I'm not sure I would recommend a size down. So seamless waistband, no front seam. This is made of the Elysium fabric. Like I said, the white bossy print is not coming in Nubri. I'm not sure why that is, but it is. Side pockets and flattering glute seams. And these are just a really solid performance legging. All right, so here are the limitless leggings in the white bossy print. So I did size down to an extra small just because I think it's been a while since I've had a pair of limitless leggings and the last time I had them, they were just a little big in the waist. So I decided to size down. I'm not sure I would do it again. These were kind of a chore to get on. You can definitely stay true to size, but if you're in between, I would probably pick the smaller size. So these have no front seam and they're quite high rise. Like even for me, I have like barely any distance from my legging waistband to my sports bra. So yeah, very high rise. And because these were pretty snug on my waist, and so high rise, like this is usually where leggings go to me. I was getting some rolling throughout my workout this morning. So I did actually get the waistband rolling. I don't think that this would happen if I had them in a size small. They're definitely feeling like a high compression right now, but if I had my normal size small, I'd probably do more of like a medium to high compression. Again, like all of this is my fault. I did ask for an extra small, but I'm glad I did because now I know that a small would have done just fine. So these have a nice big pocket for your phone on the side, very similar to the Rosa Pocket leggings. They are white, but I actually think that they're a pretty opaque white. Obviously we will double squat test them. And since these are a little bit snug, um, I might get like a little bit of squishing on the glutes. So I'm gonna go for a medium booty scale, but they do go well above the glutes. So that's nice. There's no cutting off the glutes in the middle and just like a slightly contoured seam up here. Because of the bossy print, they definitely would be cellular friendly. So yeah, but they did not budge during my workout. These were not gonna slide down. That might be partially because of how like compressive they are on me and the size, but I really hate when my performance leggings slide down. So I love that they just really stuck in place for me. And then this might be the thing I'm most excited for coming back because I have loved this top ever since it launched, like way over a year ago at this point, the Escandala Pullover. So I bought my first Escandala Pullover. This one was in a size small. I bought it during, I think it was the Rebel launch. Then as soon as the black one arrived, I loved it so much that I had to buy the white one before it sold out. So I have the black in a small and the white in a medium. I think you can go for a size up if you want it to be a little more relaxed, but I actually like the way the small fits me best because usually I'm just wearing a sports bra underneath. So I don't need a ton of space and it's really not too tight at all. So so it's got this like mesh along the top. Excuse like the deodorant marks and everything. This is clearly well worn. It does have thumb holes and a little performance material cuff at the end of the wrist. The hood doesn't really do anything for me, but it's there, so a little mesh hood. And I like that you can kind of see your sports bra a little bit through the top, but it's not a completely mesh shirt. And then the bottom is a solid performance material and you can kind of cinch in the waist in the bottom too. And then I just tuck in the little string, but I love this top so much. It's such a great layering piece to the gym. I can wear it year round because it doesn't get too hot for summer and I can still wear it for like a couple exercises while I'm warming up. It's just such a great top. So I highly recommend this one, especially if you kind of want to show off like the color of a sports wear underneath, but you still want to wear a layer. Okay, now we're gonna rapid fire, go through some stuff that we've already seen and we've already loved in the past. The Rosa bra, such a classic. I think this is my current favorite Buff Bunny bra. We've already talked about the Rosa V2, but the just OG Rosa is made of the Nubri fabric. So it's a soft brush material, full coverage, long line. And like I said before, the straps, they just kind of like sit on top of each other instead of intertwine. The only thing is you can get like a little bit of side boob out of this one, but I've never had any risk of falling out of the bra. And it's just 
a classic, great for larger cup sizes. Then we have the Monarch bra, which used to be my all time favorite sports bra, but then they changed it. I think in the Newbury collection, they made this part of the bra a little higher up, which gave it more coverage, but they also brought the straps in. So now I just get like a ton of side boob and like, and kind of force out the side. And I just don't really love how it looks on me anymore. So honestly, I like won't really be wearing the Monarch bra as much until they fix it again, because it used to have like really nice side boob coverage. It was, it was it was a good amount of cleavage before. I just don't love how this new style works for me. But anyway, it is Newbury. It's a long line. It has removable cut pads, a little V in the front that has some really beautiful strap detailing in the back that is just like unmatched from any sports bra. This was why it was one of my favorites. It's so pretty, but it just doesn't fit me quite the same anymore. Then we have the Geo sports bra. So this launched in the Newbury collection as well. And this one is definitely like the fullest coverage. I have like, some issues with the sizing on this one though, cause it's, it fits me like very snugly in the bust, but then I get like some extra wrinkling of the fabric around this whole top part. So I did put this on the tightest hook. It does have a clasp in the back for closure. So here's the back, you do clasp it. It also has a lot of strappy detail as well, but it comes with a hook extender for three extra hooks. So I think definitely if you're in between sizes, I would choose a size down because you can extend it even further with this clasp extender. And I feel like if I had a smaller size, but then I like opened up the back a little bit more, we might get rid of some of that wrinkling issue. But either way, it has really good coverage, really good support and removable cups. And this is my first time trying the pink bossy print. Bringing back all the classic Newbury bras. So there will be Revolution bras as well. I still need to try one of the newer Revolution bras. I think I heard that they updated them for a little more coverage because it's been a while since I've tried a Revolution bra. And in the past, it just kind of cuts me off like kind of in the middle of my bust and then the girls like to spill out a little bit too much so whenever I wear this to the gym I feel like I'm constantly adjusting and some bras you can have like a little skin exposed and you don't fall out of them but I do fall out of this one it's a super cute bra though I feel like a lot of people with medium to smaller cup sizes like it a lot it's a long line has a really cute square neckline and I love the strappy back detail this one. So someone comment down below if you've tried newer Revolution bras and do you feel like they have more coverage or what? Cause I honestly am not sure. Some Newbury bottoms. So we have the Legacy shorts. So these are slightly less high rise than the Legacy leggings, but I feel like it actually works better for the shorts. So these are a four inch inseam. Unfortunately, they're not doing the Legacy bike shorts this launch, which is such a bummer cause those are like one of my favorite shorts. And you just have a slightly extended gusset here, no front seam, and you have that signature legacy detail in the back. So something about the bossy prints, if you've only ever tried solid colored Newbury leggings, like Rosa leggings or legacy leggings, the bossy prints are a little bit more compressive. I know some people size down in like Rosa or legacy leggings in the solid prints, but I really would not do this in the bossy prints because they are a little bit more compressive. They're still stretchy, but they just don't feel like they have quite as much stretch. And a reminder that all of the bossy prints are lined with white because you have the white dots. So they have to have the white lining on the inside. Um, I don't feel like it's very noticeable, but sometimes when you stretch out the fabric a little bit, you can see a little white. So if you don't like that, you know, just keep that in mind. And since these are bossy print and they're a little more compressive, they do squish my thighs a little bit. So I wouldn't say that these are the most thick thigh friendly shorts. They're also four inch inseam, so they also roll. Legacy leggings, probably my number one legging of the launch. These are the salsa red. So this one is not going back, but they do have a couple other bossy prints. These ones are nice and high rise. I love the rise on these. I love the detailing in the back and the bossy print. It's like a medium, sometimes medium high compression. And you have that little detail in the back, but it also kind of curves around the glutes. So it's super flattering on the glutes as well. And I think I have like maybe 10 pairs of legacy leggings now. And these are definitely my number one buff bunny leggings. Honestly, especially in the bossy prints, something about the bossy print and the legacy leggings together. I love them. And another thing to note about the bossy print is that they will be more cellulite friendly and give you a little more coverage than a solid legging. Another note, just in general, I feel like brushed leggings are a little more cellulite friendly than performance leggings because they have a little more like thickness to them since they do have that like brushing on top. Some other classic leggings, we just have the Rosa leggings 
leggings. So if you are looking for a solid legging, these ones are coming in the Miami Vice pink and I believe H2O blue. So no bossy prints in the Rosa leggings. These honestly fit very similar to the Legacy leggings, but they're just a lot more basic. So the waistband dips down slightly in the front, seamless at the top, of course, and no front seam. And the seams in the back are just kind of a slightly tapered glute seam. You don't have like a whole lot of detailing and there's no seam down the side of the leg like the Legacies either. So these are very simple, just a classic basic legging. And then they have the Rosa pocket leggings as well. So these are honestly pretty similar to the Limitless leggings, except they're made of the Nubri fabric. So they're soft and brushed. And these are coming in bossy prints. So again, they might be a little more compressive than if you are used to solids. They're very similar to the Rosa leggings. They have a slight dip down in the front waistband. Seamless, no front seam, but they have pockets on the side and the pockets can definitely fit any size phone. So they're very spacious and flattering on the glutes as well. Bringing back the Revolution tanks, except they have bossy prints this time. So the Revolution tank, I think launched this year in January, and this is the like Lorena color from that. So this color will not be coming back, but think Revolution sports bra just in a full length tank. So I would go with your sports bra size in terms of sizing for this one, because it does have a full sports bra with cup pads on the inside. So you are getting bra support with this one. And I love tanks with built-in bras, especially if they're gonna have a cute strappy back like this, or else you couldn't wear like a bra underneath and be able to hide that. So yeah, this one, I definitely feel like I fall out of like a little bit because it is that revolution bra shape. I also feel like the Buff Bunny built-in bra tanks in general, the straps are just like a tiny bit long for me they're still wearable but like this and like i forgot what it was called like the nature tank or something that's not it but you know what i mean both of those have been a little long in the straps if you're in between sizes on this one though i might size down because i do have like a little bit of extra space unless i pull it like completely over my hips rebel leggings are also coming back just in the white leopard print i reviewed those pretty recently because they came back in the i think the mad scientist launch but i actually usually size down in rebel leggings but i think i probably wouldn't size down in these rebel leggings because the white leopard material feels a little more compressive and a little thick. So I probably would stick true to size for the white rubber leggings. The succulent skorts are back. So they're only coming in bossy prints. And even though they're bossy prints, they're actually a nylon spandex sleek performance material, not a Nubri. So these launched in the Blooming collection last year. So just like a tapered waistband, and the waistband also kind of dips down in the front and curves a little bit in the back too. Plenty of skirt coverage, a lot of active skorts tend to like show the shorts underneath intentionally, which I kind of prefer the skirt to cover everything or else, it, I don't know, it doesn't always look intentional to like anyone watching. And then they have the shorts underneath. For me, these shorts ran really small. So I wear a small in this skirt, but I definitely would prefer a medium. So I think I would size up in the skorts just because they were super tight on my thighs. They were really giving me a lot of like camel toe, even though it doesn't really matter because it's a skirt. It's like uncomfortable because the seam is like going right up there. And it was just very, very snug. So I prefer a size up in the skorts. They also have a tennis ball pocket on one side and a phone pocket on the other. They're also bringing back the Loch Ness leggings. So not in this color, but the original Loch Ness leggings were like a black base with different color piping along it. So it was like a neon yellow, pink, blue. I thought it was super cute. I loved it, but the Loch Ness leggings didn't have like a seam along the front of the waistband, which they were trying to go for like a certain look, but I just didn't love how the waistband kind of folded up on me, but they changed it. So these are the Loch Ness leggings, same as the Mad Scientist collection, just in different colors. So the original Loch Ness leggings were made of the energy fabric, but these are made of a 75% nylon, 25% lycra. So they're kind of like an ultra stretchy performance material on the outside like nice and sleek, but the inside they are slightly brushed. So these are super stretchy. I wear a size small and I don't think I would size down because I don't have any gaping anywhere. But if you're in between, I for sure would choose the size down. This fabric too, I just mentioned in a recent love it or leave it. It's a little more delicate than most performance materials. Like I brushed my barbell along these while I was doing some RDLs and it did scuff up the material a little bit. 
I cannot currently find where I scuffed it up. So it was very small, but the Elysium performance material is way more durable and pill resistant than the Loch Ness material. And they used to have the Wave sports bra to go with the Loch Ness leggings, but that bra, Honestly, it had a little zipper and it like chafed me really, really bad whenever I wore it. So I actually couldn't even wear it to the gym. So they're instead bringing back the Transcend sports bra again from the Mad Scientist launch in the new colors, not this one, but I actually really like this bra. It's made of that same nylon Lycra performance material, really good coverage on this one. And then it's got like some of that like seam detailing. And then the back kind of resembles the Monarch sports bra. So all of the support comes from these thicker straps. And then these straps are literally just like, they're just there for show, but I think they're cute because they add a little strappy detail. They're not providing any support, but you get the support from the other part of the straps. But yeah, this bra is definitely a true to size and pretty good coverage and support. And then we have the wave shorts, which I had the wave shorts from the first Under the Sea collection. And those I want to say were like a six inch inseam and they made them a four inch inseam this time. So I did not get the new wave shorts. I know that they would roll up on me, but they're going to be very similar to the Loch Ness leggings, the same material, the same nylon Lycra. So it's not like the old energy fabric and they're only a four inch inseam. So for my short girlies who prefer a four inch inseam, this is better for you. But I loved the original wave shorts. I had a little longer of an inseam. So I was a little bummed to see them change to a four inch. And finally, they are bringing back marble again. I'm kind of like ready to retire the marble. I feel like, I feel like the bossy print is like, like my favorite print from them. And it's kind of like, I don't know, polka dot feels like timeless to me, but I'm just not sure that I'm still loving the marble. But anyways, the flow shorts are back, which are one of my favorite shorts. So excited to see some flow shorts. So these should be the new flow shorts that launched in the most recent swim collection. So they have a little more flow to them. You don't have to size up like people did in the past. So definitely don't size up in these flow shorts, especially larger sizes. They are way bigger than before. So I'm, I think actually some people who wear like XL to 3XL actually size down, but comment down below if you do wear one of those sizes and how you felt about the new flow shorts. And they also have a zippered pocket now, but I love the flow shorts. They have a spandex short lining on the inside, super flowy, super high rise too, which is hard to find on these active shorts. And they have a drawstring. They're just one of my favorite shorts for summer. The Jade Mesh bra is also back in marble, but even though this bra doesn't look like a lot of coverage and it's definitely not a full coverage bra, I actually feel pretty supported and contained in this bra. Like I actually wear it on like walks and stuff. I feel supported, which has always surprised me because it just really doesn't look like it has a lot of coverage and it has a thick elastic at the bottom. A lot of Buff Bunny bras are long line, so you don't see a solid elastic, but sometimes I like it because it just gives you a little extra support. So a little scoop neck in the front, strappiness that comes to cross in the back and just a little panel of mesh in the back too. And finally, the Limitless shorts are coming back. I don't have the Limitless shorts. These ones have no front seam and they're a four inch inseam and then they just come in the marble colors and I didn't get any new marble. Okay, I think that's everything launching. Thank you guys so much for watching and always be sure to leave your comments down below. I see YouTube comments more than anything else. So leave your comments down below. Again, if you are shopping the launch and you want to support me, my code is Catherine. It's not a discount code, it's just a support code. And remember to get your extra entries into my monthly giveaway if you do use my support code. My monthly giveaway is always on my website and that's always linked down below. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.